just finished an intense game, your mind still buzzing from the strategic warfare. You look across the board at your opponent, extending a hand in the age-old tradition of sportsmanship. But what you encounter is far from the firm, respectful handshake you expect. Instead, a clammy, limp hand emerges, hanging lifelessly from the wrist. It doesn't meet your grip, but merely hovers in midair, cold and devoid of any semblance of camaraderie. The moment your hand makes contact, it recoils, as if your touch is a source of fear and submission. The experience leaves you with a nauseated feeling, a desire to rush to the nearest restroom and scrub away the remnants of sweat. This archaic ritual, meant to symbolize respect and goodwill, has instead become a revolting ordeal. As we delve into the worst chess handshakes of all time, it begs the question, why do we keep up with this bizarre tradition? And are these the worst ones ever seen? One of the most memorable instances of the handshake fist bump conundrum occurred during round two of the Fine World Cup, featuring the young prodigy Elireza Ferosa. Known for his exceptional skills on the chessboard, Ferosa found himself in a hilariously awkward situation off the board. As the game concluded, Ferosa extended his hand for a traditional handshake, only to be met with a closed fist from his opponent. In an attempt to adapt, he quickly morphed his handshake into a fist bump, but just as he did, his opponent switched to an open hand. This led to a comical back and forth, with both players alternating between a handshake and a fist bump, each trying to match the other's gesture. This was an absolute shocker of a handshake. This moment, captured on camera, has since become a humorous highlight of the tournament. It serves as a perfect example of the awkwardness that can ensue as the chess world navigates the transition from handshakes to fist bumps. Despite the confusion, Feroz's ability to laugh off the incident shows his sportsmanship and good humor, reminding us that even in the serious world of chess, there's always room for a little lightheartedness. A hilarious handshake blunder between Magnus Carlsen and Wesley So added a dash of humor to an intense chess match. Carlsen, having gained a winning position, prematurely extended his hand to So, assuming his opponent was about to resign. However, So was still in the process of wrapping up the game. This premature handshake left So momentarily confused and Carlsen slightly embarrassed. As the two danced around the handshake, it was as if Carlsen was so eager to claim his victory that he jumped the gun on the traditional end-of-game handshake, catching a social blunder. An even more awkward trend emerging in the chess world is the confusion between a reach for the clock and a handshake. As a player extends their hand to stop the clock after a move, their opponent, mistaking the gesture for a handshake, extends their own hand in response. This leads to a comical back and forth, with the first player retracting their hand in surprise and the second left hanging. This misunderstanding adds another layer of awkwardness to the post-game interactions. In the world of chess, while a realm of strategic brilliance is not immune to awkward moments, from limp handshakes to fist bump confusion and even mistaking a clock stop for a handshake, these humorous interactions remind us that beneath the intense competition, chess players are human navigating the complexities of etiquette just like the rest of us. Enjoyed the video? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community for more amazing content like this. Your support means the world to us.